Today I'm going to show you how, it e how easy it is to create your own electronic forms. Now when I'm helping offices to transition to a paperless environment, the questionnaire module is one of my favorite Ventrix modules. I use it for, for everything from new patient registration form, medical dental history, financial arrangement forms, all my consent forms. And I just want to show you, but a lot of times offices will say, well, I don't know how to make a form, or it's too complicated. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nip that in the bud today. I'm going to show you how to create your own electronic form. So if you open up the questionnaire module right here, which is, looks like a, I don't know, it looks like a little piano. Uh, this is what you're going to get. This is the questionnaire module. If you go up to edit, go to questionnaire setup, then you get a list of forms that look like this. Now, it's not uncommon for an office that is paperless to have a list of forms like this. Now, some of these are samples. I use the questionnaires for my own personal use, so there's some weird titles in here. But it's not uncommon for you to have some um, forms in here, everything from uh, consent for oral surgery, consent for implants, consent for root canals, patient medical dental history, health history updates, um, financial arrangements, truth and lending statements, um, all your new patient forms. So it's not uncommon for an office to have 12 or 15 forms listed in here. But we're going to start from scratch. I want to show you how easy it is to create a form. So I'm going to click new. I'm going to say start with a blank form. Now in my experience it has been a lot easier to create a new form from scratch than it is to edit an existing form. So I'm going to click start from scratch. So this is a blank sheet of paper. We can just start from scratch. We're going to give it a form name. So I'm just going to say Dana's video training form. And who might sign this form? Well, maybe the patient and, and the provider. Now, if it's just a patient um, consent form, maybe just the patient. Now, if it uh, needs to be signed by all, maybe even a witness, you can have three signatures. You decide. You can also give your form an expiration date. So I know for some of my offices, they want their patients to do a new medical history uh, every two years. So you could give the form an expiration date. So now we have this blank piece of paper. So where do we start? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is go to new question. And I'm going to start with a header. So my header might be patient information. There's my first question. Then I want you to know that there are several mergeable fields within the form. So if I click insert patient info, this little tab right here, it's going to give me some fields that are mergeable with your family file. So I'm going to click on this one, patient demographics all. So when the patient fills out these boxes, you're going to be able to merge those fields directly into your patient family file, which is so awesome. So I'm going to click OK. Now I've put that field into my form. My next question, I'm going to do a checkbox. So this question might be, how did you hear about us? And might be from your website, if I can spell. <laughs> website, Facebook. Uh, newspaper, newspaper ad, phone book, uh, maybe a coupon you are running, maybe a friend or family member. Now if they give, if they check friend or family member, I might want to know, so I'm going to use a note box for that they could write in something. If friend, who may we think? Uh, 
Okay, so they can put in the name of the person that referred them to your office. Now I could also, I could do a new question and I could make it a subheader and I could call it insurance information. And then I could click on this patient information boxes again and I could click dental insurance information and click OK. Now my next, now maybe I'm done with all my patient information. I'm going to move on to my next topic, which might be medical and dental history. So I made that a header. And then my next question might be, I'm going to give them some, a couple lines to put in um, current physician, name, address, phone number. I'm going to give them two lines to fill that out, out that information. Now my next question, I'm going to insert more patient information and I'm going to have my medical alerts you know that red plus, the medical alerts list that you have in Dentrix? That is also a mergeable field into the form. So I'm going to insert my medical alerts into my form. But before I do that, I'm going to add a question that is just a body text and it's going to say, please check all that apply. and I'm going to move that question up one so it's right before my medical alerts. So they could put a checkbox in any of those uh, items in that medical alerts box that might apply to them. Now, I might have a new question for, please list all current medications. And you may want to give them six lines for that. I don't know. Depending on how many medications you think a patient might be able to fit in there. Now you can keep going on. The, what I suggest is taking your current forms, anything that you have a paper form for, kind of take that and use it as a guide to add it into this module as an electronic form. Now I could go on for forever. Um, adding more questions, but for today's um, example, I'm going to click close. Actually, I'm going to view it first. So I'm going to click view print so I can view it on my screen and see what I have so far. So you can see here's my header, patient information. Here's that mergeable fields here that called patient demographics. Here's my checkbox list. How did you hear about our office? They could check website, Facebook, friend or family. And then right here I gave them a note line where they could type in who referred them. Then my, here's my subheader which says insurance info. Now if I was finished with creating this form, I might want to put a page break right here so that it would push that insurance info onto the next page. Because you can see here, here's my insurance information. This is all mergeable into Dentrix if you want it to be. So I would probably move that that subheader over to the next page. And then I have medical and dental history. They could type into this box their current physician's name, address, and phone. And then here's my medical alerts list. Please check all that apply and they just check box those, that list. And then they can type in here, this is just an empty place, they could type in their current medications, what they're taking them for, dosage, things like that. Now, if I was creating this form at, at an office, then there would be more things in here um, like, uh, you know, recent surgeries, maybe allergies, uh, consents. I would add on all your consents onto this form, like um, your HIPAA consent, your consent for treatment, what a, if you have a financial policy. But for, the, for today's demonstration, I'm not going to go into that much detail. Now, I'm going to click Close. Now I have my Dana's video training form in my list. 
I also want to show you that there are some other headers that you can put on your forms. If you click into this View Print Setup, click into this Report Style, and I could click on the Default Report Style, and let me show you what that looks like. It puts a colorful um, header at the top and bottom of your form. Maybe you want something to look a little bit more snazzy than that blank form that I showed you originally. So take a, whoops, take a little bit of time to go through these samples. Uh, classic, elegant, modern, retro. I'm going to switch it back to none. And then also up here, these are your electronic signature devices that are available because when you create an electronic form, you're not going to print it and then have the patient sign it and scan it. That's not the intention here. The intention is for you to go paperless. And so to go paperless, you're going to need some kind of an electronic signature device. My recommendation is the EPAD or the EPAD 2. Those are available through Dentrix. And the nice thing about these EPADs is they are completely um, integrated. They're, they, you can use them with any module in Dentrix. The clinical notes module, any of the consent forms. If you're using PowerPay, they are... Um, they work with PowerPay. They're really easy to use. They're USB port, so you can move them around from treatment room to treatment room very easily. In my office, we have four treatment rooms. We have two e-pads in the back, and we have two e-pads in the front. So they work beautifully uh, within Dentrix. So I'm going to click Close. And now you have the forms available to use uh, anytime you want. You can link these forms up to your website. You can link them up to an iPad. You could have a workstation in your office where patients could come in and fill out forms uh, electronically. You can merge them in with Dentrix and, um, and you can make your office a lot less scanning, more electronic. So have fun with it. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me at Dana, D-A-Y-N-A at raydentalmanagement.com. Thank you so much.